So what are some tricks for memorizing multiplication facts? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and there are a lot of tricks to memorizing multiplication facts, but here are just a few tips to get you started. Now, it always helps to start from the very beginning, especially with zeros and ones. Now, here's a couple of tricks to help you with these. Now, with zeros, zero times any number is going to give you zero. Simple enough. And with ones, think about one times any number is going to be that number. So for example, one times seven is seven, one times 12 is going to give you 12. With twos and fours, with twos, think about doubling. For example, if you want to find out what five times two is going to be, think about five and doubling it. So five and five is going to give you 10. And with we're multiplying by four, think about doubling, doubling. In other words, double doubling. In other words, if you, want to if you want to multiply six times four, think about six times two first, which is 12, and then double that answer again, and 12 and 12 is gonna give you 24. So six times four is gonna give you 24. Now, with fives, think about this. Five times an even number is gonna always end with zero, and five times an odd number is gonna give you ending with a five. So for example, Five times four, four is even, you're gonna have 20, which ends, of course, with zero. And we have five times seven, for example. Five times seven, five, seven is odd, so five times seven is gonna end with a five, and in this case, the number itself is 35. Now, to help you with some other multiplication facts, you can always help to think about rhymes. If you think, uh, folks can relate pretty easily and remember rhymes as well, especially when you put things into rhymes or song, that's always a a good tip. Now, there's also the tried and true methods of flashcards as well as addition. Because if you think about it, multiplication and addition are related to each other in a lot of ways. So for example, if you want to multiply, for example, eight times three, think about adding eight with itself three times, eight plus eight plus eight, which is gonna give you 24. So you can also go back to the old school ways of learning multiplication facts. So I'm Jimmy Chang and here are some tips on memorizing multiplication facts.